Architecture is an integral part of our world. All of us use architecture every day. We live our lives in it and around it. But how often do we stop and think about the ways in which architecture affects our daily lives? We sometimes think about architecture as buildings, perhaps somewhat abstract and isolated. But architecture is really about people, their culture, their needs, their values, their behavior, their physical abilities, their social gathering spaces, and their interpretation of space. We sometimes think of architecture also as a way in which our culture is reflected. It's reflected in our buildings. It's reflected in our built environment and how we choose to demonstrate our personalities, our individuality, and how we see the world. Sometimes architecture has the ability to inspire us, to delight and surprise us. Sometimes has the ability to inspire awe in us. We'll see that right here. Many times we're looking at architecture as a reflection of our history, people who've gone before us. But it can be simply an idea, or an expression of an idea, or an expression of the place. Sometimes we call this the context in which architecture is built. Sometimes it has to do with the landscape, or a connection to the outside world. Sometimes it has to do with creating a world in which our community values are reflected, or gathering spaces. Sometimes we look at architecture as simply a means of shelter, or utilizing materials at hand. Sometimes it's an expression of the technology that we have, or something that we're trying to do that creates inspiration. Sometimes we look at architecture in terms of its details, its art, or necessity, entertainment, or simply an expression of our imprint on the world. I hope that this semester, that you start to think about architecture, perhaps in a way that you haven't before. Maybe you think more like an architect, maybe you don't. But hopefully, you just start thinking more about architecture. <laughs>